this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Tropics! Let's finally actually begin searching for Dr. J, even though we've been do trying to do so for the last five chapters. So, let's try and find a way through- oh, wait, I know this one. Haha! -ha! A secret passage! Oh, there's a tiny little village up there. Well, let's check it out. Why not? You seen a guy who was riding around in a submarine just like mine? How did the submarine get over back to where I was anyway? 199? Whoa, holy cow. You must have a big heart. Oh, and I think I got more hearts since last time, somehow, after the last chapter. How do you do, Cola? Uh, I don't remember po the name of Poe's poem. I don't think he told us the name of it. Well, I met Nestor. I would imagine he could help me out. And you guys remember Nestor? Yeah, the third oldest? Huh. I guess these islands don't communicate with each other about who's the oldest, huh? Well, it's not really a boat, but okay. PJs. <laughs> he was looking for a chocolate bar. That's great. Never had one of those. Not really a fan of chocolate with, mixed with nuts. I'll be honest with you, viewers. Huh? Yeah. Bananas in my ears? Where did that come from? Is that like an expression in the Caribbean that I'm not familiar with or something? Uh, I don't know. You got me on that one. But now that we're in Chapter 6... Oh, really? Oh, just like Dragon Warrior. But yeah, now that we're in Chapter 6, every time you enter or leave Subsea, you're going to get a little message like that telling you where Dr. J is. Or at least where his signal is coming from. What, has he got a GPS on him? They didn't have GPS back in 1990. Did they? I mean, maybe the military had technology like that, but not like your average archaeologist or anything like that. See those two little waves of water? They connect to each other. So we're going to try and find a way to put those to use. Let's see, this top one here leads up there, so that's a dead end. Let's see what's on down here. Why not? Let's go exploring today. No real dungeon or anything, at least not so far. Mmm, an apple. Well, it's not as good as a big heart, but it will restore... No, it won't restore my hearts. Well, that was a complete waste of time. Much like my videos. Okay, yeah, I don't need this message. We're too far away. No, no. Game! <laughs> Let's try that one again. Reminds me of that one time in the Final Fantasy VI LP. Yeah, you remember that one of yours. Uh... Okay, yeah, this is the one where we're supposed to go. Let's see what's down there first. Come on, big heart, big heart, big heart! Hey, hey! All right. And I could use a free life refill, too, while we're at it. I wonder if I... I was thinking about stopping the episode when we got to the next dungeon. I wonder if I would have just restarted with three hearts instead of full life. That would be bad. Well, regardless, we got our big heart. Hooray! I like how they put these big hearts everywhere. Yeah, we got a whole lot more hearts than we did back in Zelda 1. Or two, for, well, two didn't really have hearts, but, well, you know what I mean. Well, let's see, over here, is this the tricky part yet? No, it's not the tricky part yet. We're not there yet. It does get a little tricky. Oh, another little village. Yeah, let's check it out. And get another message from Rob, or, what is it, Navcom? Whatever his real name is. Oh, sorry. Robinson Crucicola? Trying to think of a Goonies reference. No, I was going to say Chester Copperpot, but now that wouldn't work with the initials there. Oh, well. Oh, well, we must be getting close. Maybe he just dropped it somewhere. Through a secret passage! Okay, this is the tricky part. One of these... Well, most of these will lead to one of the other ones. Yeah, okay. I know it's not the center one. Yeah, this is the right one. Okay, there we go. 
Yeah, all those other paths, they'll lead to circles. All those other ones to the north, they lead in circles, so don't bother. Um, yeah, that one, the top one, leads to a dead end, so don't go to that one. I think, yeah, there is another one. Okay. Maybe another big heart? Let's find out. Nothing! Okay, never mind. Yeah, there's nothing in there, so. Oh, well. Thought there might have been a nice little apple there, but no. Well, it looks like all we have to do is... Is this the right one? Yeah, yeah, okay, this is the right one. That'll take us all the way north. Ho! Well, this will bring us pretty close to where he is. Oh, there we go. Ah, okay. But yeah, basically what you gotta do is now, once we're getting really close, Navcom is gonna tell you about where he is every few steps or so. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then north. Oh, there's a big hole up there. Wouldn't be the first black hole that I've encountered. And this is the only underwater part of the game, even though we are driving around in a submarine. And that's the last we'll be seeing of... I think that's the last time we see Navcom in the whole game, now that I think about it. Er... Yeah, I think it is. We're coming up to the, uh... Well, not, this isn't the last chapter, but, uh, we're coming towards the home stretch of the game. Let's put it that way. We got, what are those, Aztec or Maya or Inca statues or whatever? I don't know what civilization that is. Yeah, history, not exactly my strong subject. Yeah, I know, that's a real shock to you, viewers. Whoa, got purple ones now. Holy cow. And between purple and green? Hmm, I don't know. It's hard for me to say which one's my second favorite color. I do know that my favorite color is orange! Now you can jump two tiles with... Oh, whatever you call that thing. I don't know. An anklet or something? I don't know. But I like how they're starting to switch up the battle mechanics. Well, not the battle mechanics, but the gameplay mechanics. Ha! You mummies cannot defeat me! Yeah, this is the part of the game where it starts to get really hard. Not so much that, but fortunately now, it's not so much a difficulty spike as it is a, well, just a shift in the difficulty of the game. It's a, it's a more gradual process, so I really like that. I wonder, can I hit that guy from all the way over here? Probably not. Oh, come on! One tile away. Okay, yeah, we gotta kill all these guys to get through this room, so you're gonna have to walk around to get to that one. Oh, well. Ha! There we go. I love being able to jump two tiles, especially with my orange uniform now. Why don't they have an orange Power Ranger? That's my question to you, viewers. I, I don't know why that just suddenly popped in my head there, viewers. I, I say things, and my brain doesn't filter them out, and... Well, it happens, you know. Uh-oh. Now this part is a little tricky. What I like to do is I just like to go all out against these guys. Now, what you could do is go to the center tile and just blast them all safely from there. But that's not how I roll. So, what I want to do now... Uh, I suppose I could have gone either way, but grab that. Ha! There we go. Whoa. That even hurt my ears a little bit. I'll try to, uh, turn down the volume for you in post-production. How's that sound, viewers? Let's see, is this the one? No, no, not here. Some of these walls have secret passages, but not this one. So, let's see what I can do. We can't hit them from all the way down here. Ha! There we go. I wonder if there's... Ah, no, 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 no! Damn it! Ah, oh, come on! He always knows just when to come down. Or when not to. And unfortunately, unlike the last time we fought a boss like this, we do not have a freezing item. So we're just going to have to take it as we go. Come on. Get down here! Yeah, he's never going to come down here now. Oh, well. I'll just wait for you forever, dude. Nice. 
one more hit. I'm gonna have to use my potion. Come on. Yeah! Got him. Well, that was easy. Yeah, that was a relatively short dungeon. So, well, there we go. Oh, I'm blue again. I like the orange mic. Nuts. But anyway, this one other thing I really like about this dungeon has one of my favorite weapons in the game, if not my favorite weapon. Let's see. Ah, I remember this part. Okay, this part's a little tricky. You gotta go through the secret passage to open up that wall, then go up here and hit that. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go through the secret passage that you can see and then go down below and then hit the switch. I forgot about this part though. Ha! There we go. Yeah, you gotta get the anklet first. I wonder what the technical name is for that weapon or item, whatever. A baseball! All right! Well, that actually makes sense to give the ball to the person who actually uses that weapon. Okay. <laughs> Spike shoes! Yeah, I love that weapon! That is so amazing! How do they not have a weapon like that in other video games? You just warp around the room and you hit the enemies with your spiked cleats. They use cleats in baseball, don't they? I don't know. I mean, they hardly move around. But other than when they're running the bases. But anyway. Yeah, hey, I'm a Cubs fan, so... Uh, yeah, we're pretty casual in this town. Oh, well. Let's see, I think there's a switch around here somewhere. I uh, hate those turrets! Whoa! Nuts. Why can't I hit you, like, really sonic fast, like the mummies? Oh, well. Whoa. Okay, okay, I think we're good, we're good, we're good. I love this dungeon. Whoa, okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Whoa, too many, too many mummies. How did that kill one of them, but not all of them? Well, we got them all the same. I think there's an item in this room. Hold on a sec, viewers. Okay, now there's uh, nothing here. I was just looking at my map. You know what? Let's use a potion for this part. Oh, okay, I was gonna say for boss time, but uh, I guess there is no boss here. Well, we did kind of already kill the boss, so. Huh, it was kind of weird, them putting a boss, like, in the halfway point in the dungeon. For boss time! Nuts. No, this guy's the real boss. Okay, now you gotta be careful with this guy. Okay, wait for it. One, two. Oh. Sometimes he throws more than two. Okay, never mind then. Two. You get in a few shots sometimes. Well. Well, what's he gonna do if he gets too close to me? Ha! There we go. Just throw baseballs at him. Not quite the same as a blitz ball, but you take what you can get. But will we ever find Dr. J in these lost ruins? Find out next time on Let's Play Star Tropics! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! And refrain from turning off the game. Never turn off the game, viewers. Never turn off my videos, either.